What's up, motherfuckers? You got Joe Who here. And, uh, just kind of a chill day. Got the day off from work. Just sitting here with my, uh, semi-new piece smoking up. And, uh, I figured I hadn't done a little video with you guys in a while, let you know how things are going. So, uh, let me, uh, start by introducing my, uh, my latest bowl and uh, before I tell you the name of this piece let me go in a roundabout way and tell you where the name came from so uh, you may have noticed in some of my more recent videos I've had a couple of different pieces that's because I've been having bad luck lately in the past month I've broken four pieces Roughly a piece a week. Uh, two of them were within two days of each other. I think that's a new record. But uh, I don't. I pretty much decided not to buy glass for a little while. But I like this bowl. And uh, one of the dudes over here that that I'm staying with, they uh, I asked him if he'd sell it to me for ten bucks, and he did. So I bought it for ten bucks. And uh, one of the reasons was I figure it's not some bowl. I I, I went go crazy picked out in his shop and was like that's the one that's the one I want that I want that bowl you know and I get all pissed off if it breaks and so uh, I figured you know buy some bowl off some other dude you know just something to use that's kind of cool looking and, you know and that also is one of the reasons why I came up with the name that I came up with now as I'm sure you know I usually like to name my pieces after uh stuff in books and TV shows, characters and weapons and whatnot, and things that I like. And so uh, as a Game of Thrones slash A Song of Ice and Fire fan, considering I'm pretty much waiting for this motherfucker to die, I've decided to name him Ned, aka Dead Ned. <laughs> but uh, he's actually lasted pretty long, so I've, I've, I've had him for uh, just about a week now. And that uh, beats out Gendry, who if you saw my uh, video on the parking garage, Gendry lasted a day. Yep. Um, other things going on. I've been uh, staying over here at this uh, hostel in North Hollywood for a little over a month now. I've, uh, I shot a couple things over here, but I, I don't think I've really told you guys about it. It's a pretty cool little place, you know? I mean, it's, uh... I don't know if you're all familiar with the concept of a hostel, but basically, it's 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 like a, a cheap dorm room-style motel. You know, you bunk with other people and stuff. And uh, most people are, you know, people that are traveling around, and, you know, you see them a lot in Europe. People backpack through Europe. Stay at a hostel, all that stuff, and uh, but uh, the one I found is uh, it's, a, it's a little bit more laid back, you know. Like everybody here smokes. I'm sitting here in this cool courtyard smoking and stuff, and uh, it's a, it's it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet, you know. I've met a lot of really cool people, and you know, of course, there's been some people that you know I wouldn't call them undesirables or whatever, but you know, some people. Who, you don't necessarily enjoy meeting, but in a situation like this, you take the good with the bad. And uh, for the most part, I've met some people here that, I don't know if they'd consider me a, a steady or decent friend, but I might consider them a steady or decent friend if the relationship proves itself worthy to be that. You know, because you meet a lot of people, you think they're going to be cool or whatever, you hang out for a little while, and then boom, something or another happens, and neither one of you motherfuckers talk to each other ever again. It's life. But, uh, you know, overall, scenario is pretty good. I'm still working over at the Korean barbecue. I've been holding that down pretty much since I got here, you know. It was within the second week that I was here, I got that job. Um, I mean, things are going good there. 
I uh, was talking to the owner the other day about, uh, you know, promotion possibilities, and he told me if I was willing to come in, um, ah, shit, I just realized that, uh, I should probably call him tomorrow and see about going in tomorrow, um, he said if I was willing to come in on my days off and, uh, get some training, that he would give me more workload, and if I could handle that, then he would talk about a promotion. So, all in all, things are looking pretty good. Nothing really significantly new to speak of, but anything not bad is always good. <laughs> and uh, I've been keeping my head above water, and sometimes that's the best you can ask for, right? Oh, that was a good one. Alright. This is Joe here in a beautiful, sunny California. And I say Joe who out.